Are you okay? Actors often move us to tears with their emotional scenes, but did you know they can get just as tearful as us? Forget clever tricks and fake tears, these actors were crying for real in these scenes. How many times have you bawled your eyes out at a super sad moment on screen? We hear you, and we've been there too, but it's not just us. Discover the scenes in movies like Harry Potter and TV shows like Friends, where the cast got just as choked up as the audience. Get the Kleenex ready. I teared up a little bit watching Sophie in that scene. Filming a scene where your on-screen twin passes away sure sounds tough, and for Oliver Phelps, it was very emotional. He asked director David Yates and co-star Julie Walters how to get into that mindset, and he revealed he ended up thinking about loved ones I've lost over the years. A makeup artist then came over with eucalyptus spray and blew in his eyes. He admitted, I'm crying for real at that point. They did it in just two takes. James Phelps wasn't affected at all by the crying. He had to lie there for so long, he actually fell asleep and woke up on my own on the stage while everyone went to lunch. Will Smith's raw performance in The Pursuit of Happiness gave us serious goosebumps, and the emotion in the final scene got to Will himself too. He cried real tears, and it's hardly surprising. The actor revealed how important it was for him to do justice to the true story it was based on. He connected with Chris Gardner, the real man he was portraying on screen, so that he could tell his story. And working with his own son Jaden when he was just eight years old also made it a mega emotional experience for Will. Was it as easy as it looked? No, sir. No, no, sir, it wasn't. Riverdale paid tribute to the late Luke Perry following his fatal stroke with its season four premiere. The episode featured Fred Andrews's funeral, the character that Luke portrayed in the show. Given the real-life events, it's not surprising that the cast were crying real tears of grief and loss as they mourned their former co-star. It was an immensely moving moment for all of us watching at home as well and a beautiful way to pay tribute. We're yeah. honoring him the best we could. It was the best way, yeah. The ending of Captain Phillips wasn't in the original script, it was entirely improvised, and that makes Tom Hanks' raw performance all the more affecting. He let the emotion of the scene wash over him. The actor revealed that it was instinctual, and he couldn't really remember it afterwards as he was just so physically engrossed in the procedure that was happening to him. He had spoken to the real person he was portraying beforehand, and Tom had discovered that Phillips couldn't stop crying. A Navy SEAL had told him not to fight it and let it flow out of his system, and that's exactly what Tom did. Everything's gonna be okay. Denzel Washington shows so much in such a small physical moment when he lets a tear fall down his cheek as he's flogged in glory. His back already bears the scars of his punishment as a runaway slave. It's an incredibly moving moment and highlights the power of the actor. The cast of Glee paid tribute to Corey Monteith after his tragic passing with a beautifully touching episode titled The Quarterback. The actor's tears were, of course, real, as the cast let their raw emotions show while acting their characters mourning the passing of Finn. Leah Michelle was in a real relationship with Corey at the time of his passing, and her genuine tears as she sang Adele's Make You Feel My Love moved us all to tears too. Come on, let's, let's hang it right over there. When Eleven reads an emotional letter left for her by Police Chief Hopper in the final episode, her tears are seriously convincing. And that's because Millie Bobby Brown was genuinely crying. The actor has discussed how she got herself into the zone to deliver the emotional scenes in Stranger Things' third season. She listened to the recording from her co-star, David Harbour, and got the camera on her straight away to capture her raw reaction, which she describes as pure devastation and sadness. And when life hurts you, because it will remember the hurt. Finishing up a franchise of films is going to be emotional, and that's exactly how Daisy Ridley felt when her role as Rey in the Star Wars series came to a full stop. She was so upset about the end of the line that she didn't need to pretend to cry in her emotional scenes. Those tears flowed naturally. In an interview, she revealed, In the shot, I'm just crying in the shot. It was, it was incredibly dramatic. She literally couldn't remember what she said afterwards. She just hugged the cast and crew and left in a car, staring out of the window. Saying goodbye to their sitcom of 10 years was a very emotional moment for the cast of Friends, so they didn't have to put on the tears in their final scene. Courtney Cox starts crying, and she sets off Jennifer Aniston and David Schwimmer. Lisa Kudrow and Matt LeBlanc also shed a tear. The only one who didn't? Matthew Perry. He kept it together, but admitted he felt like he was going to cry throughout the seven hours of their last day. This is harder than I thought it would be. 
Benedict Cumberbatch cared so deeply for the character he played in the imitation game that he genuinely cried. In fact, on the last day of shooting, he was so moved he couldn't stop the tears from flowing. The actor revealed that while filming the final scene, he broke down and couldn't control himself. And I couldn't stop crying. He said he grieved for the beautiful and brilliant man. During an interview with Jimmy Kimmel, Jennifer Lawrence revealed what caused Sophie Turner to cry real tears in an emotional scene. It's the moment when her godlike powers cause her to accidentally end Jennifer's character's life. And it's all because her vape got taken away. As Jen revealed, She really was crying because her dialect coach right before the take took her jewel away. Sophie joined the joking by saying, It's how to act. <laughs> take it away and then you give it back. Scream is terrifying to watch, but was it terrifying to make? Well, Drew Barrymore wanted to cry real tears, so she made an agreement with Wes Craven about how to approach the crying scenes. Wes would tell her a secret story, and it brought the tears on every time. Wes revealed what their secret was about. It was a story Drew had told him about a boy who had done awful things to his dog. So the director just had to say one line to the actor, and she'd burst into tears and be just frantic. Oh, God! I wouldn't do that if I were you. Drew Barrymore has a history of really crying in her movies. Way back when she was little, she played Gertie in E.T., and she was able to give a very raw, genuine performance because the cast and crew encouraged her to believe the extraterrestrial was actually real. In a behind-the-scenes featurette, her co-star Henry Thomas, who played Elliot, revealed that Drew introduced E.T. to her mom and said, he, he doesn't want to talk to you right now, but he's just a little shy. Her co-star Robert McNaughton said it must have been very upsetting for her when she had to say goodbye to E.T. Jessica Alba's crying scene in Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer is fascinating for a different reason. She revealed that making the movie actually made her want to stop acting. And that's all down to director Tim Story's response to her genuine crying. She revealed that the director said her crying looked too real and too painful. Well, duh, that's how it's supposed to be. But then, get this, he added, can you be prettier when you cry? Cry pretty, Jessica. Just wow. He wanted her to make her face flat, so they could then see CGI the tears in. As Jessica quite rightly pointed out, then there's no connection to a human being. We need to find a way to get the board. So I... When Steve Carell's character left the office in season 7, fans were moved to tears. But they also had a lingering question, which was, what did Pam say to Michael at the airport? Well, the actor behind Pam, Jenna Fisher, revealed all years later. In an Instagram Live video, she explained that it was actually her talking to Steve, rather than Pam talking to Michael. She told him all the ways she was going to miss him. So they were real tears and a real goodbye. She described it as a really emotional scene. It's gonna feel so good getting this thing off my chest. Which of these scenes made you cry the most when you watched it? We hope we didn't make you bawl your eyes out all over again. Be sure to let us know in the comments which actor's genuine tears moved you the most. And please hit that subscribe button while you're here. Thanks for watching!